At times it may be difficult to believe and at others not so much. We're approaching the three year mark since the pandemic flipped our lives upside down. And while most of the world has returned to some semblance of normal, many of our state employees are still doing their jobs from home. And some lawmakers believe that's causing issues for a lot of us. Griffin Rushton looked into the situation for us today. So Griffin, some lawmakers are wondering, you know, if the remote method is actually wasting taxpayer money at this point. Yeah, that's right, Tessa. House Republican Minority Leader Jim Townsend is just one legislator demanding answers from the governor. They want to know how many state workers have not returned to the office full time. While Republicans claim they're getting complaints from folks who can't get what they need, the governor's office suggests something else is at play. This is going on all over the state, and it needs to stop. New Mexico House Minority Leader Jim Townsend says it's time for the state to decide if the pandemic is over or not. President Biden, I mean, he did away with the pandemic the other day, and um, New Mexico needs to get caught up and get back to work. In a letter to Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, Townsend and fellow House Republican leaders Rebecca Dow and Rod Montoya suggest the number of state employees still working from home is making it harder for New Mexicans to access critical public services. We have been inundated with uh, calls uh, from constituents all across the state, from MBD to tax and rev, uh, health care. People are not satisfied with the fact that you know, when they call the state office, no one's there. They claim only 40% of the nearly 22,000 state employees have returned to the office full time. But a spokesperson with the governor's office says payroll data shows 65% have gone back full time and another 10% are working in person at least three days a week. So why isn't anyone picking up those calls? And like all employers, we have an issue right now with being able to fill positions to recruit and retain workers. Back in July, state leaders said the labor shortage was affecting them just like thousands of other businesses. And Townsend admitted that could be part of the problem. It certainly could be a worker shortage because you know, businesses all around New Mexico are suffering from that. That labor shortage is shrinking, though. An MVD spokesperson says their call center is almost fully staffed and says the average phone wait time is only around five minutes. He says all field workers are back in the office full time as well. Despite all of that, Townsend says New Mexicans are still suffering. Actions speak louder than words. When they don't call back, they have good reason to believe no one cares. And, you know, people in New Mexico are hurting right now. The governor's office says it provides a supportive workplace for state employees, allowing several thousand to still work from home. But they say that their number one priority is making sure the needs of New Mexicans are still met. Tessa? Absolutely. All right, Griffin, thank you.